Well, it looks like Portable Update found a whole bunch of stuff, which is great. Should be done in just a moment. There we are. We'll go over to download. We are going to download everything, but we're just going to flip through and see if it has any drivers for anything. Mm, not really. It's, it looks like it's just got this first batch it has to do. Because it found 170 some odd something or others, so we'll just let it do its thing here and find out what the hell is going on later. For whatever reason, Portable Update does not want to work on here. That seems to be par for the course because of how haunted this machine is. So I'm just doing it the old-fashioned way with Windows updates, and I'll get those installed and the applications installed, and then we'll install this drive and pack it up. That's going to really be it. I got all my applications installed, and I went through the first round of Windows updates. I think I found like 160 updates, of which 40-some-odd failed, of course. And I'm just waiting for this now which is actually moving at a reasonable clip. I, I can't believe that. That's actually very fast for, for an old Pentium 4. Now wait, will it say, oh, updates failed, fuck you rolling back the computer and die? That's what I want to see, because with the way everything else with this damn thing has been going, you know, it wouldn't surprise me in the least. So let me wait for that and see what happens next. All right, it says shutting down, so it's going to reboot and probably run through another one of these. Okay, just rebooted, and it's given the preparing to configure, and it says welcome, so maybe. But I want to show the weird error I get with Portable Update. It's fucking weird. I've never seen an error like that before. Portable Update comes up normal. We'll hit search, hit start, and then sometime later... Well, in typical fashion for this piece of shit... Now it decides it wants to fucking work! <laughs> that is fucked up! I tried it like six fucking times and was doing Windows updates the old way, and now it's like, okay, it's getting the updates, it's processing them. There we go, they're coming in. Yeah. Alright, well, just carry on. I never thought I would see the day. Your system is updated. This thing is done. So we just have some tidy up work to do now. I'm going to clean up the extra files on the desktop. I have some data to copy over to it, which I'll do later. And we have to mount up the hard drive in the other bay. To remove the hard drive from this machine, most people think you remove the screw down there and the cage comes out, and that's partially true. It has metal tabs that clip in here. Some have these two cages, others only have one. This one is equipped with two, so that makes it a lot more convenient. But just removing that screw isn't going to do it. You see, for whatever reason, Dell put screws through the bottom of the case as well. And yes, that means that these rubber feet are actually an important part because they keep the system just above that. Otherwise, that will really scratch up your desktop if you keep it there. They move in time and peel off. This actually still has all of them which is quite interesting. But to get this cage out you gotta remove that screw and that screw. Once you get that then you can pivot this. I kinda need two hands to do this but you can see how it's loose now. You gotta pivot the bottom out like that and then that'll undo these little hooks there. Ah, <laughs> look what's in here. Seagate 80 gig, and that's exactly the drive I was playing with. Let me just see for fun if the model numbers are the same, but now the other cage is mounted the same way. A screw there and a screw there. This one is recessed. Why they didn't do that here, I don't know. This is pretty fucking amazing. Model number... 38011A and the drive I was using in it is exactly the same 
I happen to have the exact same drive after the first one I couldn't get working but that was only because the BIOS didn't want to play nice anyways now it's time to remove this cage install this drive in it and then of course you'll never tell them apart okay here's the new drive mounted the old drive is back in there the uh, cages are interchangeable they're exactly the same so that saved the trouble of dismounting that drive and putting that drive in there and blah 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 I just took that one and put it there and that one there where this cage used to be there and that one here anyway this one is uh, ready to go June 03 June 21 03 this is not from 03 it's from maybe 04 or so but uh, probably early 04 yeah it's an old one like I said my dad doesn't understand the fact that computers don't last 15 years and when a replacement is due which was due um, oh, for him 10 years ago um, that's not going to last 15 years either I have a lot of blood, sweat, and tears in this fucking machine after everything I went through. The red RAM is mine. He just stole that from me. Now he got a hard drive for me. I put a battery in it. He got that for me. I installed the power supply. He got that for me. But otherwise it's been nothing but flawless. You know, I mean a power supply can go on any machine. The battery was just due to age really and I donated the hard drive he sort of stole the RAM from me but uh, one day this thing will crap out and I'll get it back that's all no big deal not that it's anything worth anything today or even worth anything back then but anyway she's all back together so we'll give it a nice final boot up okay full boot up of this as a final send off It's all done and back together and we'll see how long this actually does take to boot up that was just one minute from pressing the power button it was just one minute including a full memory test that this does full post instead of this UEFI bullshit and it's booted it's ready to go it's ready to do everything that's it so the good news is this was a success after all of that bullshit so I'm happy with the way it turned out I'm going to have to write myself a note in case I ever have to reload this of what I need to do. Of course, I do have this video series to tell me, but that takes too long. I think the cats are nogging around. Anyway, they've told me that this series has gone on long enough. I wanted this to be like a one or a two-parter, and it ended up being this. So, sometimes there are unforeseen circumstances, but... It is working, running Windows 7 successfully, and we're all set. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you click like, make sure you click subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. You know, it couldn't possibly end there, right? <laughs> Every last part of this entire thing has been a complete and total train wreck piece of shit everything is done system is ready to roll copying the data back from his flash drive that takes a shit it's unrecoverable goddamn good thing I donated a fucking hard drive to this project the data is safely on the other drive